First Alert Weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Welcome back to Heartland Afternoon. Jeffrey, did you like the weather this morning? Okay, woke up, got out of bed, walked outside. It was a rare feeling where I was like, maybe I need a jacket. That I hasn't happened in forever. <laughs> I kind of felt the same way. Honestly, I was like, no, it's not jacket weather yet. No, I'm not done with the summertime heat. But it, I knew there's hope around the corner. I wonder if it's ladder weather. I just noticed there's a ladder behind us. <laughs> I didn't see that either. You know, just trying to climb to get to the outside, maybe. We're just gotta uh, get outside. Chilling through the days, right? Chilling. It is a little bit chilly in your mornings. But yeah. if you plan to be outside, here's your afternoon checklist. Definitely want to go ahead, grab the sunnies, grab the shades. Lots of sunshine out and about, so the sunglasses would be pretty handy. As always, need that water. Got to stay hydrated, even though it's not as hot outside. Still need to make sure that we're staying hydrated, especially if we are outdoors. And then can't go wrong with a hat or maybe a hair tie. It is a little bit breezy at times and maybe you want to roll the windows down. So a hat and a hair tie would be probably a little bit beneficial. Looking across the heartland on our Doppler network can see mostly dry, a lot of sunshine. There is a little bit of activity just north of the heartland, some light sprinkles, some light showers that could trickle into our most northern counties, but for the most part, we're staying dry and we're going to look dry for the next couple of days. So future cast starting around 7 p.m. tonight, partly cloudy skies this evening as we head into Thursday morning and a nice sunny start to the day. This is by around 7 a.m. heading to school, heading to work. Maybe you have some morning errands to do. Great to go all the way around the board. As we get into Thursday afternoon, also Thursday morning is still going to be chilly, but Thursday afternoon, it's going to look as great as it's going to feel. Another pleasant day tomorrow. High pressure is overhead, but it's slowly working to the east. So then Thursday night into Friday, expecting a little bit more moisture to come in. Winds are going to shift. They'll start coming out of the south. So that is going to increase our cloud coverage just a little bit, but it's going to increase our heat and humidity for the weekend for Friday evening. It's still going to be fairly nice, dry, but a couple of clouds. And again, it's going to feel a little bit more sticky. As for that outdoor planner, which I hope you can find some time to get outside today and tomorrow, but if not, Maybe you want to get outside every day. It's looking good. We are in that good category. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we do heat up a little bit for your weekend. These are going to be some great maybe pool days. Get out in the water. Going to be nice for your weekend. A little bit of clouds working through Perryville. Winds still coming in out of the north northeast, but it feels overall very pleasant across the heartland. A little bit cool in your morning. Upper, uh, it's not not upper. Low to mid 50s across the heartland. I don't know about you, but I would want the jacket in the morning. You're not going to need it by the afternoon, but especially maybe the kiddos that are walking to school, send them with a jacket and then they can put the jacket in the book bag on the way home because it's going to feel nice by the afternoon. 82 in Marion, 84 in Paducah, 84 in Cape Girardeau. Looking at the next few days, another pleasant day tomorrow. We do slowly see that warm up though. We're already will be in those mid 60s Friday into Saturday 91 on Friday 92 on Saturday 92 on Sunday as well and then we'll track those mid to upper 90s heading into the beginning of next week. 